Hey gang, it's your boy Jay, aka Paid with Jay's, and I am back with another freaking video. So if you couldn't see from today's title, I am doing a reading your assumptions about me. I know I'm super duper late hopping on this train, but I mean, I don't know. I just haven't hopped on the train till now. I mean, <laughs> hey, I don't know. I'm making this video now, so it's whatever. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk much longer. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into the video. So on my Instagram story, I had made a post telling y'all to um, comment some assumptions that you guys have about me. Because I know I've gotten a lot of new followers on Instagram and many, many subscribers that are new on my YouTube channel. So I just wanted to know the assumptions that you guys have of me. The first assumption about me, I promise you I get this all the time. I get this all the time, 24-7. Somebody said, you're bougie. Now, I mean, I guess you could say I'm bougie, like, to a certain extent, but I'm not, like, stuck up bougie, you know? Like, I'm the, I don't drink tap water bougie, certain stuff like that, you know? I'm not to the point where I'm bougie, where I don't eat out, or I'm stuck up, or I look down upon others. I'm more so, like, I don't know how to explain it, but I mean, when it comes to certain things, I can be bougie, but I mean, I'm not bougie 24-7, so. Somebody said, you're spoiled AF. That is actually a true statement. I'm very spoiled. I spoil myself and also my mom spoils me a lot. Yeah, I can't say that I'm definitely spoiled. I've been spoiled since I was like a little kid, so it's here now and it's not going nowhere, so... Somebody said, you get good grades. That is definitely true. The only time I wasn't getting good grades was like last year towards second semester when I was like not at my best. I was at my all time lowest. That's one of the reasons why I was, you know, getting bad grades. Like, and when I say bad grades, I mean like B's, C's. Um, I don't think it ever got as low as to a D, but I do know that I ended up retaking my Spanish two class that I got a C in last year, this year, and I got a better grade on it, or I got a better grade in the class because I was in a like better mindset. My mental health was way better than it was last year. So yeah, that's pretty much the only time that you know I got bad grades. Other than that, I'm an on the road student, A's, B's, you know, sort of stuff like that. So somebody said, you have a smart mouth and it gets you in trouble a lot. Yes, I have a smart mouth. No, I don't get in trouble with my smart mouth a lot because I don't really get in trouble like that to begin with, nor do I talk back to my parents. Me and my mom, we get along just fine. We're pretty much best friends. So I'm I mean, there's really nothing to really argue about. My grandma, we really don't argue like that. So I mean, me talking back is really not something that happens in the house. Somebody said, you are dramatized. I am not dramatized actually. That's negative energy that I do not need in my life. I really try to distance myself from drama. I mean, I don't like being in drama, honestly. It's just something that I don't do. I mean, middle school, that was one thing. I was pretty childish back then. I mean, I'm still childish now, but I mean, I was really childish back then. I was petty, had a really smart mouth back then I used to talk back to teachers and just say whatever I wanted to kids so I had drama back then but now I'm a high school now so I really don't you know get into drama like that I try to distance myself somebody said oh lord I done lost it Somebody said, you got vocals like your mom, but you're too shy to show them. That's actually true, but not true. Um, I can sing a little bit, but I choose not to for the simple fact that I just don't like singing. That's not something that I really like to do. That's my mom and my grandma's thing. That's just not something I really want to do. Yeah, I grew up within the music business. My family has been in the music business, but me personally, that's just not something I want to do. You don't associate with many people at your school. That's pretty true. You know, I have my select few um, that I hang out with daily in school than I have the people who I'm with like in certain class periods but other than that that's really it you know I'm pretty well known around the school and by well known I mean people know me but I don't know people not a person who likes to be friends with everybody it's just not me this next assumption is actually from our good friend at first I thought you were gonna be stuck up and rude I get this a lot. I guess it's just how I come off. So here's the thing. I guess like at first when you like look at me, my face tells it all. You know, I really don't have any expression on my face when I'm by myself or if I'm like with a friend and I don't know you. So you know, my face is gonna be like this. 
So, I mean, I guess I can see where people are coming from and they're like, oh, I thought you were gonna be mean, you were gonna be stuck up. People always say that, but then when they talk to me, it's like a different story. They're like, oh, he's a pretty cool dude, you know? I can hang out with him. So, I mean, it's like, people only think I'm stuck up because of my face and, you know, I don't really talk if I don't know you. I guess I can see where people are coming from when they say that, but I mean, at the end of the day, I'm really not rude or stuck up, so. You fine and you seem chill and cool. Thank you, and I'm pretty chill and I'm pretty cool. Cool. I'm I can be laid back. I can be real goofy at times. So I mean, yeah, I'm real cool and chill at times Somebody else said stuck up like I said before I am NOT stuck up nor will I ever become stuck up if you know I ever blow up to be this internet sensation that everybody's you know saying that they can see me becoming That's just not my person now. I would never Change somebody said your mama's boy. That is definitely true Anybody in their mama can tell that me and my mom are like like this, I'm definitely mama's boy. I mean, we've been tight since I came out the womb. Somebody said, you're very well-mannered and level-headed. That is pretty true. Um, I have very good manners. My mama raised me well. I'm not gonna disrespect you in no way, shape, or form. Level-headed, I can definitely say I'm level-headed when it comes to certain things. This is actually my friend too. He said, I thought you was pretty cool from the jump. And that's facts, you know. I'm a pretty cool person. It takes me a while to, you know, feel your vibe and, you know, just open up and start talking. Cause my thing is, if you don't talk to me first, I'm not gonna talk to you and you know I really need to get out of that habit of just like staying in my shell I need to be more outgoing somebody actually told me that I will become the leader that I am if I open up more and start reaching out to people more rather than them you know coming to me first so yeah I just I feel like I really need to you know change that and start talking to people more just really become more friendly like I'm not saying I'm not already friendly but I mean like pretty on the first go round somebody said very nice I am nice Thank you. You hate when people call you famous or bring up your mom. This is absolutely 100% true. That's one of my pet peeves is with some random in school just comes up to me and you know, it's one thing to bring up my YouTube channel, you know, that's cool. You can bring up my YouTube channel, that's cool. I don't care. But it's one thing for you to be like in a hallway if I'm walking just minding my business. Hey, that dude famous. He got a YouTube channel, Pay With Jays. Oh. And his mama Coco Clemens, that's the lady from SWB. Hey, I Stuff like that just really irks my nerves. It's like, it's a place and a time to do stuff. And it like, I especially hate, you know what? Let me just give y'all a scenario because this just happened last week. So, you know, um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen the um, public interviews. I was playing around doing public interviews in school. I wasn't gonna post it, I was just, you know, doing it for fun, you know, so. You know, I was going up to a couple people and the week after, somebody was like, you ain't telling me you was famous. People need to understand that I'm not famous, at least not yet, but I'm not famous. You know, my mama, that's her. She's famous, that's not me. I'm just her son. I'm not famous, my mama famous. So it's just stuff like that that really irks me. Like I hate when somebody just out of nowhere brings up my mom. Like it's one thing if I'm real cool with you and you don't do it often, for somebody to ask me about my mom 24 seven, that's pretty annoying. That's gonna make me not wanna be friends with you. That's gonna make me not even wanna get to know you to be your friend. You just gonna push me away before you even get to know me. So advice to anybody who's watching this that goes to my school and doesn't, you know, talk to me yet and wants to talk to me. If you wanna talk to me, first, don't bring up that I have a YouTube channel. Second, don't you dare bring up my mama because I just, I, I can't do and I'm not trying to be mean to nobody at the end of the day it gets annoying somebody said you're too nice to people even when you shouldn't be that's pretty true um I got used a few times but I'm telling you I, I definitely learned from my mistakes and it won't be happening again that's really all I can say I mean you live and you learn it's what it is now this is actually one of my brother's fan pages at I love Tracy Minaj. I love Tracy Minaj to be watching this. Hey. But she said, you're very nice and fun. I'm nice and I'm very fun. Once you get to know me, I'm the best person that you ever want to be around. Like I try to get off good positive energy. So I'm definitely that person that you will always want to hang out around. Like I'm pretty lit. And this is the last one. Somebody said, you're very mature and always make people feel nice. I always try to make people feel nice or feel good about themselves. Cause I mean, you never really know what somebody's going through. I mean, I 
can definitely say so for myself. You know, nobody would ever know what I'm going through if it was, you know, for the social media. You know, my parents got their divorce. You know, I kept my smile on my face at school. I never let anybody know what I was going through until, you know, it really came out in the open. So that's when they, you know, talk to select few people, you know, let them know what's up. But I mean, other than that, I really want to make people feel nice and make them feel like they have a place on this world because, like I said, you really don't know what anybody's going through. You don't know what they're going through at home. They might just be having a bad day. So, you know, that one compliment could just, you know, change their day or make them feel good, you know, if not the whole day for an hour or two. So, you know, I definitely always, you know, want to make people feel like, you know, they're wanted and just be nice to somebody because, you know, you never really know what anybody's going through. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was the last one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I know I'm really late on joining this train, but I mean, I had to get my part in one time for the one time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at PayWithJays and tweet me, also PayWithJays. Until next time, stay with me, y'all. Peace, pay gang.